Hi, welcome to Debbie Stairs Demo and Heart of Scrapbooking. Hi, I'm Debbie. Well, I wanted to bring to you something special I had discovered that I'm absolutely enjoying. I love techniques. I love taking classes with techniques. I love books with techniques. Well, I've discovered a book for me <clears throat> called A Time to Scrap by Kathy Fesmeyer. And I'm having a really great time working and walking through it and practicing some of the skills that she's teaching. The link is on my blog where you can find Time to Scrap. Um, it's over at debbiesdares.blogspot.com. And you'll find there in one of my columns where you can click and go right straight to it. But one of the wonderful things that she taught teaches all through here is how to do your own embellishments and I've had a lot of people ask questions Deb do you have tutorials on how to make your own embellishments well I have one or two most of it is is tool demos so I'm going to try to get into the habit of making my own embellishments that I can put on a page so I'm going to bring you down I'm going to show you one of Kathy um, Fesmeyer Kathy Fesmeyer and if I'm slaughtering that last name I am so sorry please forgive me well, let's go down and I want to show you one of the techniques that I thoroughly enjoyed and enjoyed the effect of it. What you need is basically either a punch or a pattern for five petals. Uh, Paper Shapers by EK Success. Let me bring you up just a teeny bit. Paper Shapers by EK Success has one, has them in different sizes, and they're very nice. I've put a pattern on the blog site, so you can always download copy that of the one that I come up with very simple then you just find your the paper that you would like and trace it on the back you know don't trace it on the front trace it on the back and then cut it out and I have a flower now that's pretty in and of itself but I love what Kathy does with this whenever she um, animates it so what she's done is she's made her own transparency to see this so I'm going to cut myself off here so you can see what I'm doing down here so basically I'm just taking and I'm laying this on my mat and I'm covering it with a transparency now when I did mine and I'm going to show it to you in a minute is that I actually made three and made a larger transparency I have a sharpie a fine tip but you can do it with several tips just according to what you want to do and I'm just going to hold it still and basically just go around the edge and outline it in black um, we're not worried about it being perfect by no means of the imagination because this is going to be quote animated or I don't know what you'd call it but it looks really fun okay so you can see that I'm all the way around it now I'm going to go around it again and come out from it just a wee bit and touch to this corner and it's like loops you don't want it perfectly on there can you see what I'm doing can you see the edges over here yeah and I just want to keep that out there don't look for perfection this is one of these things you just don't want perfection but I'm going to go around and I'm just going to put odd number one two three four five one two three just little dots one two three four five um, let's see, I want to do two, two, three. So, and then now, you can see I've put the dots on it. Like I said, it's a little bit far away, but I'm going to show you the finished product in a minute. Now, I'm going to keep this, I want to keep this together on, and you, it's hard to adhere um, transparency to paper and everything. So, the best thing that I find is that I'm using a basil. Uh, stitch it and I'm centering these back up the way they should be okay this is the most inexpensive hole punch you have ever seen I pick them up at an office supply place by the bucket loads and end up giving them away in classes and stuff but it just pops the hole right in there and it's always seems to be the perfect size I have a doodle bug uh, brad and I'm going to just put in the middle. That will hold your transparency together as well as give it a little bit more decoration. Now I'm not going to trim around this because normally I would have 
four or five. Uh, or excuse me, three or four flowers. I'm just going to hold this up so that you can see what we've created. And basically, and you can twist and turn it whenever you get it all put together. Okay? Sort of fast done, but it gives it an animated style look. Ta -da. Now let me show you what it looks like when you're doing it slower and you're putting many of them together. Ta -da. That is my layout that has my three flowers on it. Again, we're getting some glare. But I made this whole section here a transparency at a different dimension with the buttons and the brads. And it just gives it a really, when you stand back, it just really pops with the rest of the paper. And I made those. I didn't have to buy them, but I made them. It's a simple, easy, make your own flowers. Thank you, Kathy Fesmeyer, for Time to Scrap. And it has some of the best techniques, fast and easy to go. <laughs> God bless you. You have a wonderful day.